Hello viewers, welcome to part three of the Quantel Paintbox restoration series that I've been working on. Um, now we're at a point where I'm ready to send this off to Germany, so I just want to go through all the last bits I've done uh, to the machine to get it to the state that it's in. So if we go through some of the bits that I've worked on, we uh, did some work on the video output card. Uh, that's all back in and installed and working okay. Network card, um, that has gone back in. It is uh, booting, I have managed to get it to boot up. Um, but uh, my original plan of actually changing the coax connection to a um, twisted pair so I could connect it to a network, that kind of was a good idea. But the problem is, uh, I've since found out, now I've booted the this board up, that it doesn't use TCP IP. Um, it seems that it used Quantel's own protocol, so it essentially means that it's pointless um, connecting it to any um, modern network. Uh, it just won't do anything. Um, so I've left that in there. It boots up. It just it doesn't actually work because we don't have any other um, Quantel PictureNet uh, stuff around to communicate with so that's a bit unfortunate um, they obviously changed that later on uh, my paintbox express uh, which is a few years uh, newer than this machine here um, that uses um, tcp ip you can access it by ftp and all that sort of stuff so um, they obviously realized they were going down a a dead end with this uh, and they updated it to use tcp ip um, the hard disk has been removed and we now have a SCSI to SD card in here as well. Now what I've done with this is I've actually set up the SD card so there is a, an exact image copy of the original hard disk um, on there and there is also a second drive on there which is um, a new version of that uh, which the machine actually boots from. So. Um, it's got a slightly larger drive than it originally had. It boots um, into a new drive, but there is also a backup copy of the original hard disk on there as well. Um, so all the original files have been retained um, and are accessible if you want them to be. Now, I didn't show uh, that on camera because I have uh, done features on using the SCSI to SD card adapters with the Quantel paint box in other videos. I've sort of demonstrated that so I didn't want to go over old ground. So I've also uh, been cleaning up all the uh, peripherals and accessories. Uh, the front panel here that's come up really nice. Used a magic eraser on this. Brilliant things magic erasers. If you're, if you're doing anything with vintage computing um, and bits of old plastic like this they're well worth having a supply of. They're brilliant. So that's come up really, really nice. Uh, really rare to see these uh, front panels. Um, they are usually uh, completely missing from the uh, the actual paint box. So yeah, really nice to actually have one of these. The uh, tablet has come up really nice. I'm quite happy how this has uh, come up because it was absolutely filthy when I picked this up. Um, again, with the magic eraser, um, made a really, really nice job of that. Uh, so. Yeah, I'm really happy how that looks. Yeah. I have also been through all the cables. We have a, a Quantel diagnostic cable. I made this one up. Um, this plugs into serial port A or B. and gives you access to the Quantel diagnostics console. Uh, we have the RAT, which has all been cleaned up. Uh, so this is just a handheld device, um, which gives you some quick access to some of the menu features. Uh, we've got the monitor video output with the high rows connector on. That's all been checked and cleaned up. And lastly, we have the RS422 cable, which connects the tablet to the actual paint box. And just to uh, finish things off, we've got a brand new uh, Quantel pen for use with this tablet. Um, so yeah, should be really nice for them to them to have. Now, uh, you may be wondering where the keyboard is, and yes, we've had a bit of an issue with that. It turns out that the uh, current owner of this machine um, thought they had a keyboard, but unfortunately they, they don't. Um, and even though they do have a, a large collection of Quantel stuff, uh, we didn't seem to be able to find a correct keyboard that works with this tablet. So uh, this is the keyboard that would have gone with this machine. Uh, this is sort of a 
dates from the early 90s, uh, this one, and uh, has a RS-232 connection which connects into the tablet. This is off my uh, Quantel Harriet system, um, and this would have gone with this machine, but unfortunately we're missing it. So if there is a slight chance anybody's got one of these, um, I'd be really interested to talk to you. <laughs> Um, so it's basically it's the one with the black keys, with the white lettering, and a 9-pin D RS-232 connection on. There's quite a few different variants on this. There's the white keys with black lettering and an RJ11 connector um, and a couple of other variants as well. So anybody has one rattling around somewhere, you never know. Um, that could be extremely useful for the um, person buying this. Um, now, thankfully, the Quantel does have an on-screen keyboard that you can use anyway, so um, you can kind of get away with not having a keyboard um, on a Quantel paint box. So, what I need to do now is go away, find a massive big box to put all this stuff in and pack it as well as I possibly can and um, get it sent off. Um, I'm sorry that uh, some of the restoration steps that I'd been uh, wanting to do, you know, playing around with the network uh, card and the video output um, didn't really happen um, but that's the way these things go sometimes once you start working on Quantels you realize they're never ever simple things to work on but at least we've got a lovely machine here that's all been restored uh, for its new owner uh, for them to enjoy for years to come okay thank you for watching everybody uh, thanks for all the likes the comments and the support from all my patrons uh, to keep the channel running. Um, there's a lot of stuff coming up. Uh, I need to start looking at reorganizing the lab. As I mentioned a few videos ago, um, I've just started doing that, clearing out some of the bits of junk that I've got laying around here. Um, that's all going to need to be sorted out and then I can look at rearranging the lab around. So uh, thanks very much for watching everybody. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.